Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Mark, welcome to Brooks Hill Studios, and today we're doing something that's very long-awaited. We are doing a Lego haul. So I started doing the haul recaps, but I kind of lost track of them, and I haven't done one. Um, is it two months in a row or something? I'm not particularly sure. So I decided to go do a normal haul. I've been building up this mini haul. Uh, I think it's about six or seven sets. I think so. It's pretty big. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. Been buying from eBay and Facebook, most of them, and then one purchase from Lego Shop at home. So let's get into it. So we're going to be going from smallest to the largest, and our first set is a Lego Polybag. This is from the Lego Club. So this is the old Lego magazines. Uh, now they just do, I think it's the Lego magazine, not the Lego Club. Uh, this minifigure is Max. So this guy was the main sort of ambassador. Uh, minifigure for this guy, and he's got all the pieces in there sealed, quite nice. Uh, I see could have printed legs on the side legs, that's quite nice. Uh, I got this for £2 on eBay, sealed, that's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like to be like the US packaging, possibly, because it has the piece count, so it's quite interesting. Uh, it's quite a cool little poly bag. Uh, I liked it because I used to, I grew up with these Lego magazines, so I've always wanted to get this Max minifigure, so very, very happy. So now we have the first actual set of the haul. This is the Hot Rod Promotion uh, 40409, the Hot Rod obviously, got the two minifigures there. Uh, this one I might sell because I might get another one, I'm not too sure on that. But it is kind of a cool promo, quite a nice little Hot Rod, I do love that blue colour scheme. Um, it's quite nice, even though I wish it would have been £75 instead of £85, I'm not particularly bothered with that. But anyways, it's a very nice promo, glad to have it. Our next set is yet another, well, it's another deal sort of thing. Uh, this the 76896, the Nissan GTR Nismo from the 2020 Speed Champions line. So I got this at Sainsbury's, uh, I believe it was 1440. So it's quite a good deal, 20% off, I think. 20% off, could be say, I'm not sure, but still quite a good deal. Uh, now I have all of the uh, single pack Speed Champion cars for 2020 the Ferrari, the Audi, and now this Nissan. So quite glad to have this in the collection, and it does look quite interesting, but it's those stickers. I'm not looking forward to applying. So our next set is an old deal I got on Facebook. Uh, it is this set. It is a Ninjago set. 70755. This is Lloyd Jungle Raider. Uh, I believe it's from the oh God, Tournament of Elements season. Looks very interesting. I got this for 5 quid. And as you can see, the box is absolutely goddamn terrible. As you can see in here, uh, no instructions. Got all the pieces, I believe, all the minifigures as well. Um, but those pieces, they were really dusty, so I had to clean them. And I'm still pretty happy with it. It is quite a cool little build with some cool minifigures. Uh, the five pound, like I couldn't really resist it. It's quite a nice set, and I do prefer this to the Legacy one. I do not like the Legacy one, and I've always wanted this, so uh, kind of a no-brainer with that. Next is another eBay purchase, like the Lego Club Max minifigure, and uh, yet again we have another damaged box. This is my first ever. World Racer set. This is 8897. The Jagged Jaws Reef. Two boats. Pretty awesome. Uh, the box is a little bit damaged. As you can see there. I mean, it's opened. It opened fully. Uh, the odd thing is, everything is sealed. All the original bags are there. Even the stickers haven't been applied. Yeah, I paid thirteen ninety nine for this. Um, just with the box, and it's literally sealed. It's brand new. In the factory bag. And I thought that was insane, like, why would someone buy a Lego set, open it, and just not build it? Um, that was really surprising to me. Um, I'm really happy to get this deal because World Racers is probably one of my favourite themes, even though this is my first set of it. I really do like the World Racers thing, there's a lot of cars and builds. Again, like Speed Champions, there's a lot of stickers, so I'm not looking forward to applying those. But it does look a very cool set, two boats, you get a shark in it. Very, very awesome. And also, like, I, I still don't understand why you would do just not open the Lego set. It does not make any sense. Now, our next set on the, on the haul is probably the best deal I've gotten in quite a while. It is the Lego Overwatch set 75977 Junk Rat and Roadhog. Now, recently, our boss have been having a sale on all of the Overwatch sets, and uh, this one was half price, so normally a £45 set. I got this for £22.50, so pretty happy of that deal, it seems like a very nice set. Junkrat and Roadhog are two of my favourite characters in Overwatch, I do play the game, um, so yeah, I do love it. Uh, the great characters, and the little stand is quite nice, I do love it. The bike, I remember seeing that in the game, on the map, Junkertown, it's always quite interesting. It's quite a cool set, and also I do love the Overwatch sort of side, 
with this. So yeah, a very nice deal, happy to have in the collection. So our next set is essentially the reason why I bought the um, Jungle Raider sets for the Lloyds set from Merlin the Hall. Uh, this is a Noah Ninjago set. It is 70727. Uh, I believe this is the X1 Ninja Charger from Rebooted Season. It's very cool. Uh, again, the box is a, an abomination. It's been opened. And again, the pieces were dusty as hell. But it came with both instruction manuals. I was pretty happy. Uh, I paid 10 quid for this. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Everything is there. Um, all the minifigs, everything. And yeah, it's, it's a great deal. I looked it up, this set normally goes for about 40 quid on the Bricklink. So happy to get this for such a good deal. So technically I only paid £15 for this set and the Jungle Raider. So I thought that was an amazing deal. Also, my mo main motivation for buying this is it's one of my favourite sets. Because Rebooted is my favourite season of Ninjago. And I've only got one set from it. I have no idea why. Um, so I was delighted to get this. And this was my favourite vehicle from the season. So again, very happy to have it in the collection. Now our final set is the reason why I got the Hot Rod promo from earlier in the haul. And uh, it is this beauty of a set. 75980 Lego Harry Potter Attack on the Burrow. Now what a beautiful set is this. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous, cannot wait to build this, and I am building it with my mum, so it's going to be a fun build for both of us to do, uh, so I don't normally build with her, so it's always quite nice, and also I have already opened it, I built one bag on Solid Brick Builder's live stream, his Wednesday live stream, so obviously that was yesterday, if you're watching this on the day the video comes out, um, so yeah, again, oh, this is probably my favourite summer sets uh, this year, um, yeah, it's probably one of the best Harry Potter sets in a while as well, um, major upgrade from the original one. I mean, major, major upgrade. So yeah, that has been the horn. Let's go have a look at all of it together. So as we all know, Bricksar always says, stack your horn to make it look cooler. So first of all, we have the attack on the burrow. Moving up, the X1 Ninja Charger, the Junkran Roadhog, the Nissan, the Hot Rod, the World, the World Racer set, the Ninjago set, the Lloyd thingy, the buggy, and then we have Max touching my ceiling. See, that is a massive, massive hole stuck right at the bottom of my table, all the way up to my ceiling. And now I am actually standing on a chair um, because I'm not tall enough to actually film this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool. A mountain of sets. If I do just step down for a moment, uh, you can have a look at how big it is. Like, it is so big. Honestly. Yeah, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So you guys probably want to know what reviews are coming for these sets. Um, and I probably... The first one to come out is obviously the Burrow, as it's one of the new sets. Possibly the Hot Rod right up there. But all of the sets from Max, down to the X1 Ninja Charger, they'll just go into the backlog. Uh, I'm probably not going to build them for a while. Uh, maybe in the next few months, if I get some more sets, some deal. Um... It's possible, but yeah, but the all the up here except the hot rod, you'll see random reviews of uh, around, around the place. So stay tuned for them. Obviously, stay tuned for the burrow. I might be getting another shipment of Lego in from Lego Shop at home. I might have some of the other new summer sets in it, and I'm not particularly sure whether I am getting it because I might not be able to afford it. And yeah, I'm saving up, so that's going to be another eighty pound order. So it's going to be like six sets in it. So yeah, that would expand the backlog quite a lot. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the haul. This is one bloody big haul. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.